willing and you're able to call yourself out like that, that's a gift, sir. So kudos. Sorry if it's a little loud. Lawn mower going by. Oh, I'm, oh I, they work early. Mad respect for the people who keep Denver mowed. Oh my goodness. They are, whenever I'm filming at 6 a.m., they are out and about. Okay, here we go. Thank you, New Balance, for sending it. Maybe these are some new fresh foam. Let's see. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh man. I might have to wait on these. What were we just talking about? Okay, let's see here. One, two, and three fresh foam more but for ladies this is the oh man coming out very very soon actually this week i'm going to talk about the difference between men's and women's running shoes oh my goodness that's that's a little providential right there okay there's a lot glad i glad i packed the on cloud goes because i thought for sure those were shoes for me but the word is out true love is on her way back New Balance, thank you very much for sending shoes for True Love. That's amazing. Uh, she will, I'll give those to her as well this week. Okay, let's get laced up and get our walk on. About halfway through my loop and it's got to be close that's my gut is that it's close it's feeling really really good if it took a nice turn about seven days ago i'm talking about the injury the sacrum stress fracture and then just in the last i would say 40 36 to 48 hours it feels even better meaning i don't have a i don't know what how even to describe it just that pressing feeling if you just press on your arm with your thumb with, you know, pretty good force. That's what I've been feeling in the back, in the sacrum for about the last month. So overall, feeling good and excited to, to see where it trends. Just one, it's, it's not even one day at a time, it's almost like one week at a time. Oh man, there goes somebody on crutches over there. I'm sorry, buddy, I'm sorry. Feel ya. Okay, bigger loop today, bigger loop. I do believe there's a shift happening. We've got a shift, everybody. 
I don't know. I, so 30 or 40 minute walk right there. You think I would know because I have two watches on my wrist. I'll explain these, <laughs> explain these in a minute. Oh boy. One step at a time. So the mental boost, the running challenge, where I'm at, where we're at, and I'll just call it as it is. I, I love Strava. It's my favorite social media app. I put it in the, I do. Because guess what? I don't use Strava for the running. I use Strava for the seeking beauty with all of you. When you take your pictures and now you can upload videos to Strava, I just love, and I've always been a big fan of maps. I love looking at maps. I've always enjoyed looking at maps since I was a kid. So that's why I love DGR on Strava. The group is always linked down below in the description. There's 15,000 runners on the, in the group. It's amazing all around the world. And you just scroll and scroll and look and absorb the beauty with all of you from around. That's why I love it. That's not, I don't use it for the workouts. I don't use it for researching races even. Uh, yeah, not even really researching races. I go to YouTube for that. But every now and then, I would say we need a mental break from all facets of social media. Even, yes, I will, I, dare I say, Strava. Now, I'm a big fan of collecting all of my runs in one place. For me, it happens to be Strava. So my idea, my running challenge for, uh, for all of you, an idea that actually we've kicked around uh, and actually put into practice on Discord, okay? The, blindfold, the 5K blindfold challenge. So why did I walk into Ace, buy this uh, duct tape? Many of you already know what I'm about to do right now. Let's open it up. Yes, to put it over the watch face. So my little, there we go, I got it. My little tip of the day is to cover your watch. Not all the time, and I know some people, you know, I know data is important, I realize that. Whether it's heart rate, whether it's pace, whether it's power, however you train, but every now and then for that mental, not only boost, but relief. Just a little relief on your runs. And the double challenge is to take the earbuds out. So no music, no podcast, no audiobook. That's where I live, audiobooks. And that's really hard for me. I love listening and learning as I run. Uh, but that's the double challenge is just to go run. No watch, no audio, and absorb every, you'll be, it's, it's almost like a completely different experience than if you are plugged into something, whether it's the watch, your phone, an iPod. <laughs> I'm excited. Now, I will still record my runs. Now, these watches are dead because I'm not running right now, so I haven't charged them in, I don't know, six weeks. So they're totally dead. They're not working right now. But when I do come back, which might be sooner rather than later, I will cover my watch with duct tape and just go run, get that mental relief, little mental boost where I'm just totally disconnected from the world and I'm just enjoying pounding the ground. However, it will still upload to Strava. I just won't see what's happening while I'm running because it's totally covered up. And again, this is more easier to uh, put into practice in the winter time when we're all bundled up and you know we've got jackets on and long sleeves and all that good stuff. So question of the day, as we get this duct tape on, what, how do you give yourself a mental boost while you're actually running, okay? This is just a little strategy that I've used over the years. And what would be really interesting is maybe in a week from now or a month, and my idea is maybe once a quarter, maybe three times a year, you cover the watch totally, and you don't look at it. You know your loop, three mile, 10 mile, whatever your loops are, so you know the distance you're running, uh, but you're just completely disconnected and it's amazing. I can't even. T so it'd be cool to get some reports down in the comments, maybe in a week from now, a month from now, a quarter from now, just to see if anybody tries it and what happens to you. Maybe it doesn't work for you mentally, but I wouldn't be shocked if it did because, again, you're just letting go of not a nuisance, but maybe a little distraction to living in the moment, being present to the steps, the foot strike, the arm pumping, the, uh, the eyes up. The, the show, you know, the, just to be present in your breathing. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And speaking of being present, this is getting pulled from, this is from Dan. He says, I've been a quitter my whole life. Dan, way to call yourself out. Simply put, I use running to build myself and bypass my natural tendency to want to quit. Dan, man, I don't know. I just, I, I, that is one of the greatest, 
not like it was a deep or profound comment, but the fact that you are willing and you're able to call yourself out like that, that's a gift, sir. So kudos to you, <laughs> kudos, just like I, I speak the Strava language sometime, I guess. Oh, that's the day, everybody. We're closing it out. Another walk feels like another day closer. I love you. I love you. I love you. Keep turning the door knob. Mm. All right, onward we go. We will turn it to, uh, oh man, I don't even know. Maybe a, just another, another pick us up vlog. Well, we need a little pick me up, a little pick me up right here. I'll find a pick me up vlog right there, right there, right there. All right, Zeke Beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.